वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ मिसेस मयूरी जोशी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्टैटिस्टिक्स नाउ वाई वी स्टडी स्टैटिस्टिक बेसिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द डेटा इज एवरीवेयर अवेलेबल नाउ वट एवर यू आर करियर यू आर गोइंग टू मेक प्रोफेशनल डिसीजन्स दैट इन्वॉल्व डेटा on the basis of data you are going to understand the uh, statistical methods which will help you to make that decisions very effectively the statistical techniques are used to make many decisions that affect our day to day lives also so applications of statistics there are vague applications of statistics we found in finance in marketing in personal operation management or anywhere else whenever you go for the uh, as a profession a profession you are going to have statistical applications now what is basically statistics is statistics is the science of collecting organizing presenting analyzing and interpreting the data to assist making many more effective decisions the statistical analysis is used to manipulate summarize and investigate the data so that useful decisions making information results now there are types of statistics first is descriptive statistic and inferential statistic in descriptive statistic we use methods of organizing summarizing and presenting the data in informative way and in inference we are going to use the methods to determine something about the population on the basis of sample now first of all we need to learn what the population is and what the sample is so here uh this is the uh, in inferential statistic we are going to use the estimation as well as hypothesis testing estimation means we are going to put some uh, uh, statements regarding population with the help of sample example is already given and in hypothesis testing we are claiming one uh, sentence regarding the population and we are testing whether it is true or false so this is the example where we are defining population and the sample the square is defined for the population and only the circled element are defined that means here this one is collected into sample so this one is how we are going to collect the sample so statistical sampling there are vague methods to define how we are going to select the sample sample must be have must have char same characteristic as the population which it represents sampling are there are two types of sampling where one is with replacement and one is without replacement with replacement means what we are selecting the sample units which are uh, replacing and once again and without replacement means once we select the sample unit we are not keeping it again in the population so there are sampling methods these sam random samples can these samples can be taken uh, using this two methods so first one is random sample random sample will define your probability which is associated with the probability here the each member of that population has equal chance equal chance means equal probability to being selected in the sample now non random sampling non random sample means as per convenient we are collecting the sample that means just go and collect the 100 observations without any specific specified information regarding probability this is what your con convenient sampling the same happen with the quota sampling also if your sample is not associated with the probability it is called non random sampling if sampling is associated with the probability then it is called random sampling so sampling random sampling methods there are different methods first is simple random sampling another one is stratified random sampling St in stratified uh, random sampling we are going to define the whole population into strata so these strata this one is called strata fine then we are going to select strata the sample from that strata is called stratified sampling then the cluster sampling the cluster sampling is the same thing the whole population into is divided into some clusters clusters are samely as a uh, strata then we are going to select the whole cluster as the sample where i am putting that cross this will be considered as a sample the whole in stratified we are just collecting few observations or few element from that each strata 
this is the difference between stratified and random cluster sampling then systematic sampling systematic sampling means we are selecting the nth element from that population that means suppose if we have this kind of populations element then I am going to select every third of it in my sample. That means this position, this position, this position and this one is going to select in my sampling. Here this one is not going to be in the sample because it is at the second place, it is not at the third place. Then we define the statistic with descriptions. As we collect the data, we collect the information from survey or questionnaire or any collected information, we call it as data. Then we have to represent that data by using either tables or graphs. Tables are by defi defined by probability distributions, non-probability distributions and likewise. Three layer, multi-layer tables, these everything defines under the presentation of data. Then according to this presentation and the graph we have to summarize that data also summarize means what we have to represent that data which is helpful for our analysis so that we can define mean its modes and standard deviations so these are the summary statistics for our data then we are going to define data what that data actually is the collection of data are relevant which are relevant to the problem is being studied is commonly mostly difficult expensive and time consuming so the that collection is nothing but our statistical data generally that statistical data is obtained by counting or measuring items there are two types of data first is primary primary means we are specifically collecting data for ourselves and secondary secondary means we are using the data which has already been collected it is called secondary data now each data is defining into its variables so variable means what variable is the interest that can take many or different numerical values for example if i am saying number of people uh, looking at my screen so this will be my variable it can vary time to time the same time uh, number of people subscribing to this channel that will will be also a variable next part we have seen the constant the constant is nothing but which is the fixed value then data this data is having uh, two types that is qualitative data and quantitative data that means that collected information is not going to be defined always in terms of numbers or always in terms of attributes this is what we we can define the qualitative data qualitative data means if we are defining the data in descriptive manner that means in the characteristic which are not in measurable form that means hair color ethnicity or uh, beauty or honesty that everything that every variable is known as qualitative variables if our data is quantified or which carries the numerical scale is known as quantitative data the quantitative data is considered as distance travel from the college number of children in the family height weight time everything that everything which defines the number is known as quantity then there are types of variable first of all we have seen the variables which is defined into two parts that is qualitative as well as quantitative qualitative means we can define the hair color health etc quantitatives we can define the distance numbers like that then quantitative data is also been defined in terms of dichotomic or polychotomic. That is dichotomic means if your data is in the form of only two response. Yes or no kind of data having genders. Genders are nothing but only male and female. True or false. This everything co comes under dichotomic. Polychotomic means if we are having more than one responses then quantitative data is been defined or uh, divided into two parts that is discrete data and continuous data discrete means if we are having a uh, number of books the number of books will be either one or two it will not be below, uh, be between one and two so this is what your discrete example and the continuous will be if we are having some uh, class intervals where our 
response is being going to define so these are the examples where we can define the data then how we are going to define this qualitative data in terms of presentation Quali qualitative means as i already said it is attributed data we are not going to have any um, number like structure so this qualitative data can be defined by pivot table and contingency table contingency table can be defined as yes no or uh, beauty or less like that so this table is defined as contingency table then another one is frequency distribution frequency distribution is we are going to define the variable in the first one and the next one is defined for the uh, frequencies that is the repetitive number then we are going to define the charts and the graph histograms poly, uh, frequency polygon ogive curve pie chart and bar chart these are the charts where we can define our data so this table is known as histogram histogram is like these all are adjacent one and it is defined for continuous data then frequency polygon as we have already seen the values in x axis is also continuous and it is also defined as the polygon then this is known as ogive curve as it is continuous one it is called as curve then this one is pie chart next one is this one is called bar chart or it is also called as line diagram this one is time series graph which is if our uh, data is related with time then it is called time series graph so this is all about uh, today's lecture so see you in the next video